Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline, and today we're going to talk about gynandromorphs. Now, what is a gynandromorph? A, gyni a gynandromorph is an organism that contains both male and female characteristics in the same organism. So this is a different than a hermaphrodite, which has been around for quite some time. A, a hermaphrodite has all the same kinds of genetics and cells in each of their cells, and uh, for some reason or other, they... Uh, there was some confusion on the development of the um, male and female types, and so there's something that's not quite right there. But that creature has all the same cells. They don't have a, a difference in the cells in their body from one to the next. A, gyn a gynandromorph actually has different genetics in some cells than others, and each cell causes your type to form according to the gen genetics that that cell has. And if that cell does not have the same genetics as neighboring cells, then what you have is some parts of your body forming perhaps more as a male and other parts as a female. Now this is believed according to current timeline to occur early in the development of a fetus and so that when the cells are splitting, they split perhaps incorrectly such that some of the cells have uh, maybe an, like an X, XY or an XYY and other cells don't. And so they, the splitting is messed up and it causes part of the body to form as a female and part as a male. So some of these, they will also call them bilateral gynandromorphism. And that's when the line is split down the middle. So you actually see half of a creature as male and half as a female. In the last video, we talked a bit about a female who was disqualified from sports because she was found to be a gynandromorph, and that means that some of her body had developed as a male and other parts of her body had developed as a female. So there's this happens in humans and also lots of creatures. The cause of this phenomena is typically, but not, not always, an event in mitosis during early development. So let's look at some examples of bilateral gynandromorphs. This butterfly has developed one part male, one part female, and you can see it's split right down the middle. So when you have a creature that has a lot of sexual dimorphism like this one does, you can really see it. Here's another example of a cardinal, half red, half white, right down the middle. Here's a chicken. peacock, and one other thing I discovered when I was researching all of this, the famous book, Origin of the Species, you may remember by Darwin, Origin of the Species, maybe that's what you remember. That's not the name anymore. It is now the origin on the origin of species. It's not the origin of the species anymore. It's on the origin of species by Charles Darwin. So the name of this book has changed for me. It used to be origin of the species. So anyways, everything's changed, genetics changed, the book's changed, Darwin's probably changed too. They say that he did study this mosaicism and other things. Uh, of course, my old timeline, we didn't have that, so I know he didn't. This is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline. Mm -hmm.